All right, real quick. Let's talk about hip hop classics. Let's make this a hip hop video. Um, one of the albums that I thought was um, a classic growing up, and I like talking about hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Because when we, when I was younger, and when me and my cousins were all together when we were younger, and we would just talk about ideas and, and stuff like that, I would always be mainly the one who would bring new music around. You know what I'm saying? And I've been told this, so this isn't just me, you know, with a big ego saying this, partly, but no. You know, I used to bring new music around because I always like to hear different sounds, you know what I'm saying? I was, I think early on I was really into, like, just sounds, you know what I'm saying? Like, I loved hip-hop albums, I loved all the genres, you know what I'm saying? But there was something about, like, just hearing a beat, you know what I'm saying? And, and you yeah, it was incredible. But, and with that, so I found different music I found alternative rap I found all type I found rock I found all this but so I was always one bringing new stuff around and not just rap but just like new music but one of the albums that I brought around that was a classic was um and it was funny it was funny um it's called uh well let me first tell y'all it's a rap group called little brother right um I mean, they've been around forever, it seems like now. Like, I was a kid when I was listening to these guys, you know. Um, well, no, I'm 32 now. But I want to say I was like 20, 21, something like that. Um, let me show y'all this. Let me show y'all this album that I got. Because I don't really know how to, like, like explain it necessarily. But no, I'm going to try Like... When I first saw this album cover, which is what drew me to the album, obviously, you know, it drew me to the album, because, you know what I'm saying, the first thing you see when you're, you know, in the first thing you see, man, when it comes to albums, like, when we had CDs back then, and, and that's how we were consuming, but they're also MP3s, too, but um, I still was, like, old school, you know, when I see the tide, when I seen the tide turn into more digitized music, I still was, like, I still want to get the CD. I still want to get the cover art. I still want to get the art inside the, you know what I mean? The booklet. But, um, yeah, hold up. What was called? The Minstrel Show. Little Brother, The Minstrel Show. And the first thing, you know, I, I've heard about minstrel shows. You know what I'm saying? God, you know, if you're in tune, you've heard about this crazy, you know, crazy shit. But, um, I thought to myself, the first thing I thought, and I probably thought other things, but the first thing I thought was, wow, they just named their album The Minstrel Show. This shit got a bang. If it, <laughs> and they on the cover like that, you know what I'm saying? If it's called that, and it looks like that, this album has to bang. And, um, because I was like, this is a confidence thing, you know what I'm saying? It's a confidence thing, like, they they got an, and they got an ill concept, more, more than anything, they got an ill concept. And they had so much confidence in, you know, and they executed it perfectly, man. I remember playing that, man, I played that damn album so much. And, and it wasn't just me, because when I brought it around, slowly but surely, just playing the music, playing it around the guys. And then they just like, man, who's that? Man, that's, that's what's up. You know what I'm saying? And then so many years later, um, you know, fast forward, man, they're, they're not the biggest group, but like, you know, they've, They've influenced a lot of people, like Drake. You know, Drake has shouted them out. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm starting to see Fonte from the group get a lot of respect that he des that he deserves uh, lyrically. Man, incredible. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy to see it. I'm like, why am I seeing it this damn late? Like, I should have, you know what I mean? But it is what it is, right? And, um, you know, Big Pooh. Big Pooh's dope. You know what I'm saying? He was holding the four down in that, on that classic. They all were. They all were. You know what I'm saying? Just didn't want to leave it out like I was just talking about Fonte, but Big Pooh did his thing. And um Ninth Wonder, man. Ninth Wonder, man, this dude is a legend. He wasn't I don't think he was even rapping on the album. He was just a producer. No, he wasn't just a producer. He probably did some rap. I'm not I don't remember, but I remember this this album just being a classic, but I don't I just remember Fonte and Big Pooh just going off, man. Just fire. You know what I'm saying? The album was absolute fire and it was a classic. And little, I mean, they had Ninth Wonder. I know he was behind the boards. So that's crazy because he's a legend in his own right, man. You guys need to do your research. And I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you. 
Um, you know, because this Little Brother album was a classic. And Ninth Wonder is, is an extraordinary genius level producer. You know what I'm saying? To my, you know, for me, in my opinion, this dude's worked with, um, I mean, he's made beats for Little Brother. He's worked with Jay-Z. Um, he worked with Kendrick Lamar. Um, produced for him. I mean, I don't know. This dude's produced for a lot of people. Let's just go down a list of people that um, Knife Wonder has produced for, man. It, it's crazy. Like, um, and he was teaching, he was teaching the school too. He was teaching the college uh, hip hop. You know what I'm saying? So that's uh, incredible right there, man. Like, I just, I don't even know how I stumbled upon these dudes. You know what? I think it was maybe, maybe it was BT. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, you know, I used to watch BT in the early 2000s. Like, you know, 2010s and beyond. 2010s, yeah. Um, and, you know, even a little bit be under that. But, dude, um, yeah, he was teaching college courses and hip-hop and all that, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, he's worked with so many people, man. I think he's he's probably worked with Destiny's Child. You know, I want to say that he's worked with Destiny's Child. Um, yeah, the dude... Do wins, man. Work with uh, uh, Murders, you know. Oh, yeah, this, his track list is long, man. I'm not even going to get into all this, man. But, yeah, just know that these guys are fantastic, man. These guys are fantastic. The Minstrel Show, you guys should definitely get that album, man. You know, I like to, like, even when I didn't realize that I was doing my research, I was doing my homework just being a fan of hip-hop, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, check that out. If you, you know what I'm saying, classic, classic boom baps in there, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, I love boom bap, but I'm not someone, when I listen to hip hop, I'm not just, um, you know, uh, hypnotized by one sound of hip hop, you know what I'm saying? I know, and I love that the boom bap is having, a, is a, has a resurgence, you know what I'm saying? But I like all the sounds. You know what I'm saying? I like all the new sounds. You know, boom bap will always be great. I love when rappers put the boom bap in there. But I'm not against new sounds. You know what I'm saying? New sounds being created out of sound. Um, I'm all for it. I'm all for innovation, you know. But, yeah, check that out, though, man. Mr. Show Little Brother, man. There's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of people that actually was doing their thing um, partnered with, Little brother, you know what I'm saying? Drake. Drake was doing his thing early with them. You know what I'm saying? Get in tune. Um, and then Ninth Wonder blew up and was making records for Jay-Z, Destiny's Child, you know, uh, Kendrick. I mean, come on, man. Come on, you know.